This is big breaking news. The federal government has just issued an emergency warning for major attacks on U.S. soil and U.S. critical infrastructure. All right, we are going to see the next phase of this war and this reset ramping up into high gear. All right, we are seeing major targeting of U.S. critical infrastructure and factories. Okay, and we could also see targeting of the electrical grid inside the US as well. There are also major outages at banking and credit unions right now that's happening as well too. And we're gonna get into that news in just a little bit. This warning was just issued by CISA, which is the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency inside the US. It's a federal government agency. And they are saying that we are under massive attack right now we're seeing water facilities under attack factories and even the electrical grid is also under attack pretty much every major industry is vulnerable because they use these same exact parts as part of their internet infrastructure they all use the same components and they are being exploited all right and they're saying that this is a foreign hacking group that is taking over U.S. critical infrastructure and CISA just said that things are about to get a lot worse. All right. So you need to be getting prepared. You need to be getting ready for the big one and potentially a cyber attack on the U.S. electrical grid. All right. That is what we need to be getting ready for because we could see blackouts at last potentially for months from this okay if you remember the colonial pipeline hack that happened a few years ago that shut off the largest oil pipeline going down into the southeast united states that shut off all the oil flowing down into the southeast and there were actually major shortages at gas stations all over all right and that was shut down for weeks and the federal government is warning that the way things are escalating in the world that we're going to see this even more frequently and even more severe all right so let's get into this warning that was issued by CISA and then we will get into some more information about it and you need to be getting stocked up on water filtration you need to have alternative water sources if you have a well this is critical and you need to be looking into solar pumps for your well as well if you don't have that look into water tanks water jugs to fill up and to have in case of emergencies all right look into treating this water with things like iodine tablets and iodine drops all right to purify the water of any bacteria for long-term storage all these things you need to be looking into find local streams local water sources in your area that you can tap into because we could see blackouts of this and the electrical grid but you can see here this is coming out of CISA all right right here on their official Website. It says cyber actors exploit PLCs in multiple sectors, including U.S. water and wastewater systems facilities. They're warning that factories are at risk, and they're also warning that U.S. critical infrastructure like electrical grids are at risk as well. This was just posted yesterday, December 1st, on the official CISA website. And they are saying this is the official narrative that allegedly this is coming from Iranian cyber actors, foreign actors from a group called the Cyber Avengers. There's some threes, there's some numbers in there in the word Avengers, but they are calling them the Cyber Avengers, this group, and they are crediting it to Iran. All right. There also could be other actors that are doing this as well from other countries and deep state actors that are doing cyber attacks and have cyber capabilities as well and here's what the message looks like just so you guys can see it for yourself all right this is what they are officially putting out as the narrative it says you've been hacked down with israel every equipment made in israel is cyber avengers legal target all right and that's i'm not saying that but that is what the message that is coming up on this critical infrastructure, their computers, that's a message that is coming up and that's being reported out of NPR. You can see there, Iran links cyber attacks threaten equipment used in US water systems and factories. All right, so these are these logic controllers that they use to essentially implement certain instructions for 
energy flows and energy movements and when to do it when there's triggers of when energy can flow through it's essentially like a programmable switch that controls when energy is released and these logic controllers are critical because they activate certain components all right certain things are activated they are sent signals through these controllers all right and that gives them data that tells them when to open something when to close something when to turn it off when to turn it on all these different things are controlled by this and there is a extreme vulnerability in them and they're saying that it is because they are produced in israel the specific company all right and they are being targeted as allegedly by iranian hackers and the cyber group so we need to be getting prepared for major attacks on our electric grid they're saying that less than 10 water facilities around the u.s have been hacked that was just reported yesterday on friday by cnn that less than 10 all right and that's not a lot but it's growing pennsylvania texas all these different states have been getting hit they haven't come out with the exact number yet this is what sis is reporting that it's less than 10 all right so it's probably around seven or eight different ones that have been hacked from this vulnerability and it is from the unitronics logic controller so let's get into this outage at all of these credit unions as well and the federal government is warning about this okay here's the article cyber criminals conduct ransomware attack causing outages at 60 credit unions federal agency says about 60 credit unions in the u.s are experiencing outages because of a ransomware attack on a it provider the institutions use according to a federal agency it says on friday the national credit union administration the agency that ensures deposits at federally insured credit unions said in a statement to abc news that it was quote coordinating with affected credit unions in the wake of the hack the full extent of the outage and its impact on credit unions was unclear Friday evening. One of the affected credit unions, New York-based Mountain Valley Federal Credit Union, told CNN that technicians from the hacked IT providers were, quote, working around the clock to get our systems back online. All right, so over 60 different ones in multiple states credit unions. Do you remember all this banking issues that were going on? There was a hack on the automated clearinghouse which affects direct deposits all right i made a whole video on that a few weeks ago there was a massive cyber attack on that the largest bank in the world was also cyber attacked as well it's a chinese bank that operates in the u.s and they also underwent a massive cyber attack just a few weeks ago and they were doing trades and clearing transactions with usb sticks and walking around to different banks and different offices to clear the transactions all right so this stuff is getting out of control and we could see the big one at any moment all right when is the big cyber attack going to happen that really is a light switch for the general public to realize that we are completely vulnerable and we have set ourselves up with this digitized society where everything is online everything is tracked and traced and everything can be accessed remotely with this internet of things even physically physical things are all now connected your dishwasher your television your refrigerator some people their refrigerator is connected to the internet all these things are now connected online and they only operate exclusively if they are connected to the internet and if we see a break in that chain then it could cause mass ripples in our society in our supply chain to our infrastructure and to our banking like it's already happening right now 60 different credit unions are now under this ransomware attack so let me know what you guys think down below what do you think is going on all right they're getting us ready klaus schwab warned at one of his big meetings earlier this year of a black swan event it was at the world government summit actually that he was at that a black swan event is coming and i believe it's going to be a major cyber attack cyber pandemic like event all right we also heard him quote that before too a year or two ago about the cyber pandemic is going to be even worse than anything we've ever seen all right that's exactly what he said and i believe that as well too and i believe 
things are getting closer to it every single day. All right, so make sure you're stocked up on seeds, on storable food, on batteries, on gas, water, have a generator, have water tanks, all this stuff. This is how I've lived in my RV for years is off generators and water tanks. All right, this stuff's critical and you need this to survive. All right, so please hit it up for me down there. I really appreciate that. I hope you have big blessings for your life and for your family. Please stay safe out there. I'm sick right now. My whole family's sick. There's something going on, something going around. I don't know exactly what it is, but something is going around. Even my family that I haven't seen in a few weeks. All right, we've been visiting family down here. I haven't even seen them in weeks. They are sick as well. All right, something going on and it's in the air. So make sure you're staying safe, staying healthy as well. And I hope you have a big old blessed day.